Hey, boys and girls, what's going on? Lee Sanders here from the RCWR Show. We're back once again with another unboxing and unveiling. And I promise you guys, this is probably gonna be one of the most smoothest and easiest unboxings and unveilings, because all we're talking about today in this little box is a turntable. Now, hopefully you had checked out the last video, which is part of a trilogy. And I'll make sure I include a, a link somewhere in the video here, a little annotation that'll take you to the first part, but this is part two. So part one, we were talking about the Etsy's um, photo light kit. And in this one, we're talking about the Unich 360 3D photo display turntable. That's what we're talking about here. Yeah, you, if you saw me look over my shoulder, it's pretty lengthy, ain't it? Yeah, so lengthy, you ain't gonna remember all that. So, hey. I got my knife as always. Let's see what we got inside the box. All right, let's see what we got here. Now this bad boy right here is gonna set you back about 36 bucks. Letting you guys know that right now. But if you're kind of like me and you've always thought about, man, how are they able to do that really cool stuff with the figure displays or that juicy looking cheeseburger I keep seeing on TV and it's spinning and it's got a nice pretty little white background and all that. How, how, did, how is it possible that they got that burger spinning and all that? Is somebody maybe spinning it? Could be. But nine times out of 10, it's on a turntable. So we got another case right here. If you remember the last video, last video we had a box in a box. Here we go again with a box in a box. This goes back to uh, Christmas, I'm telling you, Christmas a couple years ago. Box in the box in the box. All right, let's see what we got here. You guys are not gonna believe this. Uh, I was about to say, apparently there's another box. No, no, we're good this time. <laughs> I was about to say, young, if they got, <laughs> if they got this in another box, <laughs> like I just keep thinking about the trees. All right, all right. So check this bad boy out. This is our turntable here. Okay, pretty cool. Okay, okay. They give you a they give you a decent amount of cord to work with. I'm gonna plug this in over here. And okay, so let's see here. Let's see how we how we got this set up here. And that did nothing. Okay, so a light comes on off the brake. Okay, cool. Nice little light, all right. And um, let's see what happens here. I'll, uh, that's a little wet. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Okay. So what does this do? Oh, that turns the light off. Cool. Light on, light off. Now you probably, you guys are probably saying, Lee, why is there a light on? And why can you turn the light off? So basically, zoom in a little closer here. So basically what will happen is if you maybe want to try to create some more you know, little three-dimensional uh, shape and all that good stuff, turn the light on. And I don't know if you can, can you see that? Mm. And that's pretty much what's going on here. And it would appear that with regards to this, it would appear that there is only one speed to this. It does not go any faster. So only one speed. For those of you thinking, well, can it go counter uh, counterclockwise? As well, no, it, it does not do that. So here's what I want to do right now. Stay where you are, camera lady. Just home in, home in on this uh, Diet Coke, and I'll say, what are you looking at when you see this Diet Coke? What do you see exactly? The can. The can. I tell you what, can you see accurately the nutritional facts? Uh, yeah. You can see it pretty good. Mm -hmm. it, so basically, you see all of that, right? Mm -hmm. All, all of that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tell you what, let's turn it on. And let's have a counter going and let's see how many seconds it's going to take. I'm going to put my stopwatch on right now. And the, start, the stopwatch will begin on my mark. 
So we'll see how long it takes for you to see this nutritional information again within this frame. And we'll, we'll, we'll judge from there. All right, you ready? Here we go. Three, two, and one. Three. About 20 seconds and it finally went east. Yeah, let me know when you see it. Okay. 34 seconds. 34 seconds it had took for the camera lady to be able to see, and you all to be able to see the information for the uh, nutritional facts. And yeah, I, I don't know, 34 seconds, that seems kind of a, a, a bit slow. It, it kind of feels as though maybe y'all should have been able to see that information. I would say maybe, maybe not necessarily 15 seconds, but maybe at least 20 seconds. But I, I mean, who's gonna be spending X amount of time looking at something turn for that long just to make a full turn. You know, the whole purpose of this is really just to be able to get in the different shots that you wanna be able to get, um, whether you're doing photography or your video recording, you wanna be able to go in, get the different angles, you know, floor up or from above, you know, pan away and, and, and all of that. But I would say for the amount of money, I, 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 would, say, I would say it's worth it. I would say it's worth it, especially if you're trying to step your game up on um, on a production standpoint, video editing, photography, and all that. I would definitely say it's worth the money. And the thing that I like the most, um, as you guys can see, I, I have a, a pretty big hand, or big hands, and uh, th this isn't exactly small, okay? And, and just look at, okay, so my point is you can put some... Some interesting stuff on here, you know, teddy bear. It feels very durable. It feels like you can definitely get it. You could definitely get away with maybe putting something that's about, I would say, you could probably get away with something that's maybe up to 10 pounds. I wouldn't go any, I, me personally, I would not go any heavier than that. Maybe 10 pounds at most. You could put something on here and, you know, it turns and everything. Uh, one other thing that you want to be careful of, you know, since this is white, you definitely want to make sure that your hands are, are clean before you get ready to touch this because stuff can just catch on to this with ease. But for the cost, yeah, yeah, I, I would give it my only complaint, if, if, if I were to have a complaint, most of us are in the day and age now when it comes to technology. We like stuff that doesn't make us feel tied down. And I don't like the fact, you know, you can just call me a stickler for detail or you could call me a hard ass to each its own. But for me personally, I love having gadgets that I can just take with me when I'm on the go. I hate gadgets that have me be, be tied to a wall socket. And this sadly will not work unless you're plugged into a wall because it's not even battery operated. You can't even run with a battery, so that fucking sucks. Um, but despite that, and you know what else would have been kind of cool? Let's say, you know, you're, you're, you're traveling. How are you? Would have been nice to have a carrying case with this, yeah? But I guess that probably would have involved spending a little bit more money if you want a carrying case too, right? You just kind of have to think like that. But I mean, this is one of those cases, once again, if you're stationary, you're always stationary, then it's probably not gonna be a big deal for you. But if you're kind of like me and you like your stuff that's not socket connected, you wanna be able to pick up and go, um, then you may kind of look at this and say, I I'll gingerly use this or I may pass on this and just try to check out something else that's pretty much cordless free. But I would give this, <clears throat> everything that I just said, 
I probably would give this a 7 out of 10. I can't go any higher. I definitely, there's no need to go lower. I think a 7 out of 10 is, is more than fair. Maybe I'm overestimating that rating. Let's ask the camera lady. What say you? I mean, I think it's a cool thing, but I'm not sure it's worth $36. Okay. What would you pay for this? What would you think this would be a, a more accurate price since you said that? A fair price? 15 to 20. Really? 15 to 20? Mm -hmm. Considering everything that I had said, you're thinking 15 to 20. What would make you say, okay, you know what? 36 is fine. Wireless. Wireless. Okay. Anything else? Um, for you personally. So wire, wireless you care about. Different colors. Different colors. Okay. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Colors never dawned on me. That That's a good one. That's a very good one. So what would your rating be then? 36. You're going, ooh, you're going six out of 10. Okay. And I'm going seven out of 10. So you can see how that is right there. So let us know what you think. If you guys ended up checking this out, let us know how your experience has been. How'd your shipping go? How much usage were you able to get from your product? You had any warranty issues, any burnout issues, malfunctions? Let us know. Very curious. But main time, I want to take this time out. Thank those of you that tuned in and checked this out. If you enjoyed yourself, hope you did. Please kindly leave that like, smash that like, share all throughout social media. It helps out a ton. Can't stress it enough. And you can get at us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Use the keywords. The RCWR show. Hey, make sure you check out the third and final unboxing and unveiling. That's part of this trilogy set that's coming up. As next go around, I'll be unboxing and reviewing the Kickstarter spawn that Todd McFarlane has started up almost a year ago. You definitely want to see how we put this and what we did in the first video, how we combine all of that in the final video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Till next go around, wishing all of y'all to be safe and most importantly, be kind to one another. I'll see you guys next go around. Adios.